Wow. Hello there, welcome back. Thank you for clicking onto this video. If you're new here, my name is Judy. And in today's video, we are going back to McDonald's because there is another new burger in the house. I'm hoping to try their latest new burger and show you all. This one has one of my favorite things in the world, which is cheese. And it has a fat piece of fried cheese in between the burger. So I'm very excited to try it and to show you all. And I just got done with a dentist appointment. So I'm not sure if I could eat a lot, but we'll see how it goes and we'll reconvene when we're inside. Okay, so I just sat down at the McDonald's and as you could see, I've had my McDonald's order delivered to my table as I pressed the table service button. Before we start on these new McDonald's items, if you haven't already subscribed to this channel, please click the subscribe button, like this video, and comment down below on which items you would like to try from the video today. Without further ado, let's try some of these new items. I have to try this ice cream first. It's also one of their new items on the menu. It is their Nail Night Tongue Ice Cream, which is their milk candy flavored ice cream. So this is packaged just like a McFlurry, but I've never had this flavor before. The milk flavor ice cream. So I'm excited to try it. Seems like it's quite Taiwanese. So let's see how it is. I usually don't start off with dessert first, but I feel like I have to because it's 100 degrees outside and this ice cream has already melted so much that I need to try this first. So here goes the McFlurry, but the milk candy version, their new item on the menu. All right, let's get a big old bite. It's so hot. All right. Nice and creamy. Pretty thick. Oh, that's sweet. I just had a tooth freeze. Is that Ooh, that was cold. That was surprisingly like really, really sweet. 
I've actually never had this candy before. I believe you can just buy this specific milk candy at a normal drugstore or a convenience store. So I might just need to check it out and see how the candy itself tastes. But overall, I would definitely say I would prefer the McFlurry instead. I love the Oreo. This one's a little too sweet. I think it's just like overbearingly sweet. I do appreciate the small bits and pieces of this crunch because I'm a huge fan of Kit Kat, Twix, crunch, anything that's like crunchy chocolate. So it's not just super concentrated on like the chocolate itself. But overall sweetness of that taste is just a little overkill for me. All right, let me take another bite. It is really sweet. Imagine like the sweetest tasting caramel and just have a caramel explosion into this ice cream. You're just a super intense lover of sweets. This is definitely your go-to McFlurry, but I think my tolerance for sweetness is definitely not that high. I'm pretty surprised that they have this actually for Taiwan because I feel like the tolerance of local Taiwanese people for sweets isn't that high either, but maybe I'm just generalizing. Rating for this? 6.75. Just a little too sweet for me, unfortunately, but definitely was quite refreshing walking in from the scorching heat. So this definitely saved the day, but way too sweet. And I would definitely stick with my Oreo McFlurry instead. I wish I saved this for last because it's so sweet, but now I am ready for some savory goodness. Here we have it, the newest burger on the McDonald's menu. Double beef patty with a super thick piece of fried cheese in between the burger. Some lettuce on top. It seems like there's also a honey mustard sauce on top and on the bottom of the burger. No tomato on this one though, so I'm slightly disappointed, but maybe that is for the better. Let's have a bite. Whoa, that was a lot to chew on in one big bite. The first bite was already speaking a lot to me. I tasted a lot of the cheese, actually, even though it was double beef patty. As you could see, the beef patty actually is super thin, unfortunately, and disappointingly. So actually, I tasted a lot more of the fried cheese, which I am not complaining about because I love cheese. And if you couldn't tell, yes, the burger buns are black and they taste exactly the same. It's really just all about the color. Let's take another bite. Wow, this burger has a lot of personality for sure. I love cheese, I love meat, and this is what this burger is about. Literally two slices of beef, big ol' fried cheese. If you have watched my previous McDonald's video, you would have seen the last new burger that McDonald's had. And in comparison, this by far a hundred times better just because of the fried cheese. And it's really saucy. They definitely are very generous with the honey mustard on top and on the bottom of the burger. My rating would be 9.55. If the beef patties were just a little bit thicker, honestly, it would be closer to a 10, but Overall, it really has everything you need, meat, fried cheese, a little bit of lettuce, 
some honey mustard sauce. Pretty solid new burger on the McDonald's menu. And to cleanse the palates, we have their milk tea. I've actually never had milk tea at the McDonald's in Taiwan. So this will be very interesting because I usually get either the iced lemon black tea or just a sugarless ice green tea. Today we have the milk tea. Cheers! I wish they had the option of ice level because usually in Taiwan at the tea shops or boba shops, you could choose a level of ice or the amount of ice you would like in your drink, like 30%, 50%, 70%, different levels. And they definitely gave me 100% of ice because it's pretty watered down now. Yeah, it's very watered down. And you have to be a little bit more strict with your milk tea when you're in Taiwan because this is the land of milk tea and boba. So of course, I have to be a little more strict with the milk tea, even though it's at McDonald's. So I would definitely rate this a 4.95. <laughs> Unacceptable, way too watered down. I mean, I might as well have gotten water at this point. I'm quite disappointed and maybe that's the reason why I've never gotten the milk tea in McDonald's because I was always very skeptical and I was right. I'm not sure I would recommend getting the milk tea. At least not the iced one. Maybe I will try the hot milk tea next time. Maybe in a couple months because it is way too hot to get anything warm or hot right now. On to another one of the latest and greatest new items on McDonald's menu, which is their pork patty along with the fried cheese in the black bun burger. So I'm very excited to try this. So these two are their latest new burgers. So I wanted to try the difference and let's see how it is. Here we have it, the fried pork patty along with the fried cheese in between their black bun burger. And as you can see, there's also the lettuce, cheese, honey mustard, very much the same, but just different styles of meat. Wow, the fried pork patty, it feels quite hard. So I'm very curious on how it would taste. Let's give it a bite. I'm finding that all of these bites so far from these two new burgers have been a lot. I would definitely say the fried pork patty is slightly too hard and slightly not as tender as I would like it to be. I still appreciate the fried cheese, but I think with the two beef patties, it definitely brought out the cheese more. It was definitely a better balance. Let me get another bite. Whew. And with every bite, just biting down on the meat itself, it's very, very hard. I don't know why, but I'm not really tasting the fried cheese. Even though it's still there, but I think it's a little bit too dominated by this thick, piece of fried pork patty. I would definitely rate this an 8.25. I still love the fried cheese, but unfortunately this pork patty was a little bit too rough, a little too hard. Just not tender enough. I would not get this again, but I would most definitely get the double beef patty fried cheeseburger again. Gotta end the meal with some dessert even though it literally is basically like a drink now. <laughs> it's all melted! If you're a sweet lover, this is perfect for you. And there we have it! Finished the two latest new burgers at McDonald's, plus 
their new McFlurry, which is their milk candy flavor. So the final verdict is I would definitely get the double beef patty with the fried cheese again, but not so much the pork patty. It's always a fun adventure at McDonald's, especially in Taiwan or Asia because there are always so many new items. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you like this type of content, please click the subscribe button, like this video, share with your friends and family, comment down below, say hello, or leave any questions that you may have. And don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll get notified every single time I post a new video. I post new videos every single week and I'll see you in the next one.